Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Diana. <laughs> Um, and I want to talk today about health, mental health, and whatnot, but I will not tell you something that you don't know already, but I just wanted to more share my story, because I figure maybe if I share my story, maybe I can help somebody before they come to the point that I was. So uh, I wanted to speak mostly about health because uh, about two years ago, I started to have uh, a pain in my arm and I ignored it for like about a year. And then uh, a year after, suddenly like there were like days that I have this freaking pain in my arm, even when I was encoding like over the weekend doing other stuff and I was like, what's wrong? What I guess I never even heard from other people or even myself, uh, even when I work in the industry, uh, now almost for uh, 10 years, never read so much about it, no? And I went to the doctor on a Saturday to the emergency because it was really terrible. And then they told me, uh, I think you have tendonitis. Probably you need to go on Monday to uh, um, in a specialist uh, just to give you uh, the accurate uh, analysis of that, but the doctor in the emergency room told me that, then I went there and they told me, yes, you actually have a tennis elbow, I believe it's called in German, and then they told me, I was in a point where they told me you need to take a break at least for a month and do uh, Krankem Gymnastic, which is the therapy and massage for the arm, and I did that and I remember I was uh, very shocked because I never thought this kind of stuff would happen to me. And uh, as well, because I'm very passionate about the stuff that I do, and I do spend time in the computer, even uh, outside work, experimenting with stuff. So for me to tell me for a month not to sit in the computer or even uh, use the telephone, because they told me that's as well, not only the computer, but the fact that you spend time probably in your telephone swiping, uh, the tendons uh, get tired of that. And everybody's different, no? Uh, to every person can happen. And anyway, after that happened to me, I started to take care of myself. I got myself a vertical mouse, uh, and I started to take more, more breaks and, and watch out uh, uh, in my free time, not spending too much time in the computer, doing stuff more active. And it came, it, it became better uh, after a year, actually, uh, taking care of that. I stopped having the pain of my arm. But I guess when it got better, <laughs> I again uh, thought, okay, now I'm good, so it doesn't matter, I can still like push it again. And then half a year later, earlier this year, I started to have really, really a lot of pain now in my back. So then <laughs> I am back to the doctor, and uh, they told me, oh, let's go and do an M MRI uh, so to see if there's actually something particular in there. And then it turns out that actually, yes, I started to fuck up one of my discs in my lower back now. Uh, it, the gel that we have in our spine, in the lower back, if somebody had ever had this, is starting to, exp to get out of uh, or expand, it's called. And uh, I'm really lucky, the doctor told me, that it's not so much that it's going out at the moment, that he told me I don't need any medicine or surgery, because some people, if this uh, gel that we have in our spine gets out, um, usually you might need to surgery or cortisone and uh, yeah, more uh, therapy but he just recommended me to do more exercise and, and to walk more. He told me, if you don't like to do sports, just go out and uh, don't sit too long. Uh, if you go back home as well, sometimes sitting in the sofa is way too much. So I started to do that again and taking care of myself, uh, going out, trying to take a walk. In the winter, I find it always very hard in here in this country. I'm from Mexico. So then Every time I have to go out, I'm like, please no. So that's probably why I developed the, pr the problem during the winter. And, and that's it. I just wanted to, to share my story because before you get into this point, always uh, listen to the signals. So that's it.